Hello students. In this video, I will show you that how we can use ChemDraw uh, to draw the structure of simple molecules and the complex molecules. So here are uh, more than one ways that uh, you can follow to draw the structure of uh, molecules. Uh, here on the top, you can see various buttons. These are for the single bonds, double bonds, dotted bonds. We have wedged bonds, etc. And also you have there uh, a button which is called as structures. And if you go down to this button, here you have an option convert name to structure. So if you have some complex molecules or some large molecules, you do not need to draw them from the beginning. Rather, you can use their IUPAC name and uh, convert that IUPAC name into the structure. So let's first uh, use this option and draw the structure of the compound using the IUPAC name. Let's suppose I want to draw the structure of phenolphthalein. I will click on this option and I will put uh, paste the name of the IUPAC name of the phenolphthalein here or any other compound that I want uh, the structure of that compound. I will just click OK and here you can see that I have this structure of the phenolphthalein and I also have the IUPAC name written uh, below this structure. You can also delete uh, that if you don't want uh, the name uh, below the structure. So this is the complex molecule. Uh, so you do not need to draw uh, each and every bond here uh, from the start. And you can just uh, search for the IUPAC name and convert that IUPAC name into the structure of the molecules. On the other hand, you can also draw simple molecules by yourself. For example, if you want to draw ethane, you will simply click this single bond. And I will draw this single bond here. Now if you go to this point, it will show you a blue box. It means you can add any atom or molecule at this point. So if you click or uh, click here, uh, if you just click here by selecting the single bond, you will have another bond. But I don't want this single bond here because I want to draw the structure of ethane. So I will so I will click this A here text so that I can write down the atom or the molecule attached to this uh, side of the bond. I will click on this side and I will write for example C h3 so similarly i will also add ch3 on this side of the bond that will be ch3 and in this way you can see it's the ethane molecule if you click on this button on the corner you can select this and move it anywhere on the screen now uh, you can also draw a, a, a ring structure like cyclohexane or benzene uh, by yourself but there are some of the structures which are already given here. Some of the molecules and the structures are already given so you can uh, use these molecules as well uh, to further modify them. For example if I want this benzene here I will click it and I will click it here on the screen so I will get the structure of benzene. Further I can modify this benzene. Uh, I can add any functional group here. For example, if I want to draw a bond here and then here and then I will get another molecule. Uh, further, you can also get the name of that molecule that you have drawn by selecting this molecule and then going to again this option structure. And here you can see uh, this option which is now open and you can click it uh, convert structure to name. If you click it, you will get the name of that structure as well. So these are two, three ways in which you can draw the chemical structure in ChemDraw. And for the complex molecules, I usually uh, find out the IUPAC name of that molecule from the Google and then convert the name of the molecule to the structure. So I hope you have learned how to use ChemDraw to draw molecules and structures. Thank you.